in this scenario for this co-pilot, uh, the customer has Workday for their HRIS system, and they have Zendesk for internal ticketing. And they want to create a, an onboarding process, just start start one where a new employee in Workday uh, is entered in, into Workday. It create automatically creates a onboarding ticket in Zendesk, and that's what we're, that's what we're going to do with this co-pilot. So this is what we're going to do. Got to create up to create a recipe. So Workday to Zendesk ticket. Okay, let's start building it. Let's do this. When a new employee is entered into Workday, create a onboarding ticket in Zendesk, passing, say, the first name and last name. Okay, building a new recipe, a new employee is entered in a workday, yes. Create an onboarding ticket at Zendesk with a new employee's first name and last name, yes. Then notify HR with the Zendesk ticket number. Great, it actually worded it better than me and actually came back and, and asked me, do you wanna use these connectors? So in this environment I'm in right now, there's already a workday and a Zendesk connector. So it says, do you wanna use these two connectors? Okay, we're gonna soon see one here. And as you can see here, the uh, here's the steps. It's going to, I'm going to work day. I'm gonna go look at this, look at this. And it says, I'm gonna accept this. And it's going to the workers object, the new workers in, work, in a work day. And uh, start this, pick up these events starting right now. And then it's going to go into Zendesk. And you can see here, it's gonna create a new ticket in Zendesk accept this, it's gonna pass these two variables from Workday, first name, last name, it's gonna create a type ticket. I can actually go say, yeah, type task priority. I can actually then go into this recipe and modify it. Maybe I'm gonna make this a high ticket. And here's the here's the email it's gonna send. Here's an email to HR, workado.com. And here's the message, a new onboarding ticket has been created in Zendesk. And here's the ticket ID from this variable we created. 